Hi everyone and welcome back to Resin With Me or welcome if you are new here. Um, so today, Thanksgiving has passed here in the US so I said I wanted to get started on doing a couple of Christmassy projects and the first one I want to do, I've done two of these before which were the black and gold and like the purple um, coasters with <laughs> like lots of different stuff, the, the glam coasters. Um, and my mom commented <laughs> about how they looked like Christmas ornaments to her so I figured you know I have to make some for Christmas then once the time comes around. So I've got eight ounces of ZDS sticky resin mixed up here and I think I'm gonna go with a white base and then add like green and red and um, I think gold accents. So yeah that's what we're gonna do. I, I was kind of wanting to maybe go with red, a red base, but I don't know, I I decided to just go with white, so sometimes I wish, you know, I could like post a poll or something and ask y'all what should I do before I actually do it. So I've got my white all mixed up. I used uh, probably like two good scoops of the May Spring White Pearl Mica Powder and uh, some of the Cast and Craft uh, White Pigment Paste, which I did add a good amount just because I want this to be very saturated, very white, and um, like very bright white. So let's go ahead and get two ounces each into our coaster molds. Okay, and now I'm just going to torch to get rid of some bubbles. And I always, I, this is the part where I do like the ring light <laughs> showing, is you can see all the bubbles right there. And then let me make sure it's not too high. And then you just see them, they're not there anymore. So <laughs> that's the only time I like the ring light showing. All right, and because this is white resin and um, I don't want to risk burning it so I did go ahead and use the torch a little bit but um, I don't want to keep using it so I'm gonna use some isopropyl alcohol this is I think 99% and I've just put it in this little spray bottle um, because it also helps get rid of bubbles So that's what I'll do. Um, I'm just gonna let this set up overnight now. It's already, um, it's almost 9 p.m. so I won't have time to do anything before I go to bed. But uh, I'm gonna let this set up so that in the morning it's pretty hard. And then that's when I can go in and add my lines with the outliner, let that set up, and then add our, our pretty colorful stuff. So I will meet y'all back here in the morning. All right, you guys, so it is the next day and we are ready to add our lines. I'm gonna go with the gold uh, PBO CERN Relief Gold. I think this one is new, no, okay. When they're new, they're sealed, so you have to like poke a hole. And similar to um, the purple coaster video i'm just gonna do one coaster all of it on video and then the others i'll do off video just um so that the camera doesn't cut me off it likes to cut me off after like 30 minutes and it's not the battery it's just the camera's like okay that's it <laughs> that's enough girl um so yeah i'm just gonna work on one and then um do the others off camera so i'm just gonna go in and draw some lines Thank you. 
actually. So I think I am going to add some washi tape to this. This one is gold and white just because it kind of helps me keep track of where to put my lines. <clears throat> With an X-Acto knife, I'm just going to trim off the excess, making sure not to cut into the actual silicone mold. I'm just on the very edge of the resin, not cutting into the mold. better so um, it just helps me to have a line to follow um, so yeah now I'll go ahead and go in and start adding my lines So there's our first coaster and um, I I write like this I don't know why I write like perpendicular to myself it's just the way I do so that's how I also do my lines um, so turn it back to where you guys can see you can see you know I kind of messed up a little bit but again these are handmade so they're not gonna be absolutely perfect and that is okay um, but yeah I'm just gonna go in on the rest of these, do the same thing, just add some lines. And uh, we do have to let this liner sit for a couple of hours for it to dry. And then once that happens, once it's dry, we can come back and start adding like glitter, crushed glass, all the really colorful and shiny stuff. So I will be back once we're ready to do that. All right, y'all, so um, I, you can see that I went ahead and added these like, I'm trying, trying to draw poinsettias. <laughs> I don't know if they actually look like poinsettias. I tried to use this red liner, but it was looking a little, like you can even see, um, just a little like pinkish red, not this like Christmassy red that I, I wanted to go for. So I ended up taking it out and that's why there's like a little bit of red in here, but I'm gonna cover that up. So I ended up just going with more of the gold liner and then I will fill them with red glitter. Um, but yeah, we'll see how they turn out and I am going to, I got my handy dandy, uh, Dura Clear satin varnish to mix up with my glitters. So we'll go ahead and get started on that. I think that we are going to start with some green glitter and it's so pretty, so festive looking. I've got some, um, silicone brushes here. So there's the green. I think we're also going to mix up some. Let's do. I'm trying to decide. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think we'll do gold not gold, a red crushed glass next. All right, there's our red crushed glass and it looks a little washed out for you just because of that, um, the varnish is kind of a milky color when you first pour it. Um, let's see, what's next? I want to do this last just because, um, I don't know if the, the flowers are all the way dry yet, so I want to wait just to make sure. So I've got one, two, three, four other ones where I can put stuff. 
right, so let's do white glitter there. So I've got the Pe Pebeo Prisme Fantasy, but I want to see how saturated or how dark it is, how green this one is before I use it. So yeah, I don't think that really goes. I think it's just too light. So I think we'll just stick with the glitters and crushed glass. Okay, I think we're gonna do, let's see. We'll do some more green since I only have one green. I know that this is red and then the poinsettias are gonna be red. We've got white. I'm gonna put gold in here. So we'll do white right there. <laughs> So I'll go ahead and put the red into the poinsettias. I think it might be a little difficult just because the spaces are so small, but I will try my best. looks kind of poinsettia-ish. I think it's pretty. <laughs> um, so I think around those I'm going to go in with some gold glitter next. gold I think it looks really pretty very very festive um, I'm not gonna do gold in anything else just because there's such a uh, you know there's a lot of it in this one since it's a bigger section um, so this one I think I might do like something with green and red or green and white and then this will be our last little bit of white so let me get to those Um, I didn't want to just do green and I want to do like some green and red, but I didn't know how so I'm going to I added some little circles I'm gonna do them like outside part of it in green and then inside the little circles. I'll do red so similar to how I did the poinsettias but that is How she's looking and I think it's gonna shine a lot more once that uh, varnish dries and leaves just the glitter and then once we add a top coat that always just makes the colors come out and shine so beautifully so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and I'll let that dry I'll work on the other coasters in the meantime but that's what I am gonna do for this one is green and then red inside the circles and once I have finished all of the coasters I'll of course have to let that set up um, probably I might be able to, it might set up before I go to bed tonight and then I'll add a top coat and then they will be all ready. So I will be back, um, I guess once after I've added the top coat, I know that's kind of not the, the most exciting part of the process. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of the coasters and then we'll be back whenever they're ready to come out of the molds and look at them closely, see how pretty and shiny they are. All right, you guys, so our coasters are all finished up. Well, I, I will probably go in and add like a gold trim to go with the gold, but they do have that top coat on. 
very shiny and pretty as you can see and here is the design got the poinsettias with gold gold stripes green lots of green gold red white I really really like them I think they are so festive <laughs> so pretty I'm very happy with how they turned out and I was able to get lots and lots of bubbles out like there's hardly any if there are any at all so I'm super happy with these they're so festive perfect Christmas coasters and then my little heart I've got here um so I am going to go in because I didn't fill the molds up all the way to the top so there is a little bit of a lip on these and I'm just going to go in with the, the new deburring tool that I have and just it slices off so you can see right there that lip I'm able to just slice it right off instead of having to um, uh, sand with like a nail file or a dremel if it's bigger a bigger um, like overflow. So I really like to do this. I feel, you know, even just a little bit safer doing it this way than sanding and possibly getting all that, all those dust particles into my lungs or my mouth, my eyes, whatever. I do try to wear protective gear, but um, I just, I like this. Plus it's very satisfying to see that, that lip just come right off. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm going to go in, but I wanted to show how that does it and it's, it's really just such a smooth edge now. Like these are very sharp and this one that I just did, it's really smooth. And I also like that um, when you sand, it does leave like that little bit of white. But with this, eventually it does, if you do it like a lot, you'll, you'll start to see it's like a little bit of a white color. But if you're just doing that little bit of a lip that forms, you don't see any color difference so i have really really grown to like using this tool over sanding and um yeah i think i just got this one off of amazon because i saw an instagram ad <laughs> um with this tool but they were calling it like something else and someone in the comments was like that's just a deburring tool just go to amazon or home depot and get it cheaper i was like oh thank you random person in the comments <laughs> so so that's what i did but yes these are so cute so festive and christmasy i love them let me know what you think I really like them so much glitter which I love <laughs> all right so I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm gonna try to knock out a couple of quick videos if I can my laptop is broken and it's only six months old so I have to send it to the manufacturer to see if they can fix it for free um, so fingers crossed guys because it was pretty expensive <laughs> and I cannot get another expensive one like that so um, I'm going to try to get some videos out before uh, my package comes in to send it back to them. Um, but yeah, we will see what I come up with next. I hope you will come resin with me on my next video and have a great day, y'all.